fellas. We're back here with 352 Blitz. It's a new uh, episode, new video, something different. We got two special guests here. We got uh, Quest Carter and also, is it Micah or Mike? It's, it's Micah. It, it's either one. Either one he used. Mike. Oh, okay. Micah. Yeah. And Mike and you. And both of, both of these uh, guys, they're actually high school football players here at the local school in Newbury High School, literally about two minutes away from my house. I actually played there, went to school there for uh, three years. So it's great to see some of you guys, these amazing talent, uh, going yeah. on to put some special talent out into the college. Um, so we wanted to invite them, ask them a few questions, see what they're doing, what's the recruiting process like, and we're going to get started, all right? And, of course, we got Jay Butt. Um, fortunately, Greg is going to be running a little bit late just because new job, you know, over at TCU. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little different now than working at Oklahoma. But um, let's get started, man. So can you guys give me a quick introduction of each other? All right, so we probably – you want us to talk about, like, how we met and all that stuff? Or like just... Yeah, I mean, anything, just, like, what, you know – yeah, that's fine. All right. We played Little League ball together back in, like, when we was in 7th, 6th grade. And then after that, we wanted to go to high school together. So me and my, dream, my other homeboys, we came to Newberry. But some of them left and went to Hawthorne. So it was just me, Mike, and Logan. Mm-hmm. So we stayed there. And so that's why we got like a little rivalry with Hawthorne because yeah. they left on us to trade us out. Yeah. So, oh. Yeah. So you guys are so all of you guys are originally from Newberry, or no. where are you guys from? From Gainesville. I mean, I was okay. I was born down south. Yeah. Okay. So what what was the? I didn't know that. So what what was the? Um, I guess the. What made you guys want to go to Newberry? Because um. I don't know, but that was just the plan. Yeah. All Newberry, and we went for one season, and then they didn't like it no more, so they traded out on us. Yeah, I went to Hawthorne, and I don't even know why. Yeah. Oh man, I did not know that. So now I see why. Uh, why there's a little bit of rivalry, uh, you know, going on there. <laughs> and Hawthorne's been on fire for the last I don't know what five years. I feel like ever since I graduated, which. I feel like it was yesterday, but it they was got hot. They got hot the, the year I was a senior, so I was 19. I was yeah, yeah they've been hot for a while. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, well, hopefully it's now it's Newberry time, right? So yeah. first question I got <laughs> first question I got for you guys is um how is the pursuit the recruiting process going on now with colleges with uh they're able to I guess talk to you guys, right? Because now you're juniors. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's going real so good. It's going real good. Yesterday, a lot of coaches called up on me, tried to check up on me because it was, like, the first time they can do it without, like, getting in trouble or something. And it felt kind of good. It gets <laughs> yeah. It gets ready for the season. Yeah, kind of the same way, you know. I woke up early morning, coaches hitting me. A whole D line of coaches. It's, it's wow. back to back. After football yeah. practice, coaches, everybody uh, takes me. Taking up on me, make sure I'm good. Okay, and so following that, I, the question that I have, and Justin, you can also have some questions too from the list, but the I just want to follow up. So, you you know, you guys obviously said that now they can, I guess, legally talk to you guys, but when you go on when you go on to, like, visits and you have, like, offers, how, how does that come up? Like, since they can't really talk to you, right? Um, yeah, they'll come to our school or they'll tell Coach Johnson to tell um, – Coach Johnson will tell us to call them. So, because we can call them first, they can call us. Yeah. So, okay. They'll talk to Coach Johnson, and then Coach Johnson will say, "Call this coach, and he'll send the number. We'll call him, and we'll talk on the phone for a minute, and then they'll offer us." Yeah. The legal yeah, verbal. Yeah. Verbal verbal offer. Offer. Like, okay, it's like a verbal offer. Offer. Okay. All right. And so, when did when did the offer start coming in? Because like, when? I, I looked at your stats, and both of you guys' stats are crazy. Yeah. So, when did they pour in? Uh, you want to go, Quest? Yeah, during spring, during the spring practices and stuff. Yeah. A lot of people coming to school and stuff, seeing us in person. Yeah. And our offer, that's when the offers start rolling in. Yeah. Like, every day we getting pulled out of class, tell her to go to the head coach office, talk to the head coach, talk to all the coaches and stuff. It was, it was yeah, it came unexpectedly, though. Like, it came very unexpectedly. Like, when it's coming, it never stopped. Like coaches every single day, just getting us out of class. Crazy. 
So it was the same for you back in spring? Is when yeah. You, yeah. Interesting. Okay. okay. And so what was uh, each other's, like, uh, first offer? Like, what was the main uh, – the first school that offered you guys? Um, was, first school that offered me was UCF. Oh, first school that offered me was uh, Georgia State. Georgia State. UCF, okay, man. Um, what are the – I guess right now, obviously, with the with junior year coming up and then now they can talk to you, what are the top two or top three schools recruiting you the hardest right now? Like, what, what are their nonstop contact with you guys? Um, I'll say UCF, Miami, Florida State, and I'll say – that's four. Yeah, same. It's Florida State. It's Florida State who – I say Florida State – uh, not UCF. I say Florida State in Florida because I'm like right there about Florida. It's like I'm cool with most of the coaches. Like I say, uh, FSU, Florida, and who else? The people that offer me really haven't been like, you know, really recruiting me heavy. So it's like they like yeah. they just they offer me, but like you know, it's more to come. But it's like it's mainly them two right now. It's still okay. early in the process. Yeah. And so I knew I know that the UF had a camp. I don't know how long, like a month ago or a month and a half ago. Yeah. Um, but did both? I know I don't think Quez was able to participate because I think he had like some ankle issue. Yeah. But did Micah? Did, were you able to? Yes, sir. Most definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's like the is that the main thing that they're waiting to offer you, or have they offered you yet? Oh, they they have they haven't offered me yet. No. no what I about you, Quez? No, they said they want to wait a little bit because they said it, I was like still too young and stuff. They want me to like on the ones because I haven't did it yet. Because my okay. ankle. yeah, I got you. All right, Justin, what questions do you got, man? Um, I know other than the schools that have been reaching out to you, is there any like schools that obviously I don't want you to like say your top school or anything like that, but just any schools that you guys have interest in. Um, interest. Like, if we talking like academic wise, I'll say Notre Dame. But football wise, I like all of them when it comes to football. But just academics, Notre Dame. I got gotcha. you. You went up there just this uh, past yeah. weekend, right? Yeah. How was that trip like for you? Yeah, it was good. I like the whole campus. It's a very big campus. When you look at it. All gold, everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Honestly, with me, I say like any D one school that give me an opportunity, just like you know, opportunity. They they very slim now, so it's like if I get one, I'm cool with it. I'm okay with it. Yeah, that's right. that's a great way to look at it, man. Yeah. Especially at your age, like yeah. just any any opportunity is it's good to see. Like, I mean, how how old are y'all? Sixteen, seventeen? Yeah, I just been like two months back. Yeah, so that's just keep that mindset for sure. Yeah, you got free head. You know, get first of all, <clears throat> sorry, free education, and then after that, you get to play football. You can't. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a great opportunity. And so, with you guys taking visits out, visits all over the place, what is that process like? Like, I, I imagine they they kind of have to roll out the the red carpet for you guys, make you feel like royalty, and feed you and all that stuff, yeah. right? That's kind of how it is. Yeah, it's really fun. Sometimes I'll take advantage of it because it's free and everything. So <laughs> I just. I mean, you got to. Uh, yeah. Have the best time I can when I go there. Yeah. yeah. I'll take advantage of it. Hey, nothing wrong with that. You got to enjoy it. Sometimes hearing that you have free food, it just, it just stimulates my mind. I'm going to have some free food. I'm going to go there and have fun. Just have fun. Then yeah. when it, and the mainly when the fun is like really like clicks for me when we take pictures like visit pictures and like the energy started to flow through my head and I'd be like yeah and after that it'd be fun just straight fun I like it though I imagine they got to turn on some music for that yeah 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 I hope so. again real quick yeah Here hey, guys, sorry, I apologize for being so late I had to work late I apologize guys <laughs> all good all good man. And so we were just been talking about some of the recruiting process for them um, when they started pouring in, when they when the because they're juniors now, so now the the coaches are able to talk to them, um, you know, as they can talk to them, right? Huh? Yeah. As of yesterday. As of yesterday, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know now, you know, uh, Quest just took a, a visit over to Notre Dame, 
love the camp since it was big. So just catching you up a little bit here. And so, guys, the next question here was, um, I imagine the recruiting process is stressful, right? Because you have to pick basically a school mm -hmm. for the next three to four years, whether you go to the NFL or whatever you may do in your in your life. But you have to make that decision where, where you want to do academically and what you want to do football wise. So how do you guys manage the stress with like meeting new coaches and getting all these offers and getting pulled out of class like you guys said? It's very stressful. I'm stressed. I'll be stressing every day about it. Just yeah. My favorite school and stuff. I had to think about it. And I don't even have, I'm probably going to have more offers coming this way. Yeah. they probably like 20, 10 more. And yeah. I got all those schools, pick a top five, pick a top two, pick a top one. And I love all the coaches and stuff. So I have to, yeah. yeah. And, and it's mainly like people coming up to you and asking, you, what's your top school? What's your top school? And you don't even know it. So it's like, a lot of people keep coming up and asking, so it's like it's a little stressful, you know. Like what Quez said, you know, a lot of coaches you love, you love the coaches. You got to pick your top five, top three. You got to narrow it down. It's, it's, it's really, it's really stressful. Yeah, man. I mean, you honestly. I mean, I know yesterday was the first day for both of you as far as getting calls, and like you said, it was probably all day long you got called. But when you said about how, I mean, they all really interest you. That's I could see how that could be stressful because they're all they're all a great opportunity. Yeah. Um, and, uh, just to keep it a little bit more recruiting wise, um, what are your top three campus? I'm not going to say school, like, uh, like what are your list of what schools you want to go to or coaches and stuff like that campus wise, which ones are the, are the best ones that you've gone to a uh, campus? I'll say, uh, UCF, Notre Dame, and I've seen Florida State and, um, Miami campus like that only been in the facilities. So, yeah. yeah, those two. Okay. Yeah, it mainly is uh, mainly Florida, then UCF. Wait, we have have we been to any any other more quests? Um. Oh yeah, I like Ole Miss. Too. Yeah, also yeah, Ole Miss. Yeah, Ole Miss too. Ole, Ole Miss also. Ole Miss also. Yeah, I like Ole Miss too. You know, yeah, I heard I heard the Ole Miss campus is, is nice and like yeah. the nightlife there is is nice. I don't know. I've never been to Mississippi like that, so. I can't yeah. say the same, right? <laughs> um, so now let's let's transition over to high school. Um, looks like Newberry is loaded on the defensive side, right? You got Logan there, McLeod. I've seen that he, his talent is, is – that's his name, right? That's the last yeah. name. I said that correctly? Yeah. Okay. You know, he, he's very talented. Stats are going crazy. Um, yeah, I will, Justin. Um, so how does it feel, I guess, to, to have so much talent on one side of the ball? Yeah, it's real good. Um, we just need to find out one leader that because we all want to be leaders, but you know, we went and like have a great team. You gotta have that one leader that take over like the whole time. So we got to still find that out to see who that is. Yeah. Right. Um, I think we'll do real good. We just have to connect with each other, talk more, like more of a brotherhood. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like, yeah, cool. Most definitely defensive side, you know. I feel like like last year we would like we would like kind of dominate, but this is gonna be real the connection. We're gonna build a connection on the defensive side. So yeah, it's all just a process this year. Gotcha, gotcha. Um and so offensively, do you guys play offense as well or just defensively? That's it. Uh um, play both sometimes, but they try not to put us on the offense, but we play both sometimes. Yeah. Okay, and what's the offense? What kind of offense does your uh, Newberry run now? Because when I was there, man, all we ran was wing T. It was running, 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 more running. No passing. We passed the ball one time a game. That was it. Dang. No, we won't do that no more. You know, we got new offensive coordinator McGriff, so he yeah. like spreading them out, getting them spread yeah. out, so you can spread out more. Yeah. So we can throw like slants and stuff and run up the ball oh, in the middle without noticing it. Yeah, like, awesome. getting them spread. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes we do like double tight, you know. Sometimes split formation. It's, it's a lot of stuff we're doing this year. It's a lot. Gotcha. Because I I seen another guy, uh, another um, teammate of you guys. I I think his name is David. Oh, yeah. I don't know if yeah, I said that Schmitt. correctly. Uh, he's been, he's a receiver, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. He's getting looked at by some uh, IV schools, correct? Uh -huh. Got so you must be smart. Uh huh. Very. Very smart. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to get him on the pod one time too. Um, 
I'm gonna come back to 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 the recruiting wise. Do you guys plan to go together to a school? Is that like something that you guys envision, all three of you guys, or, or both of you guys? Yeah, I did think of that um, one time, but it's just based on if we do all like the same school and like the same scheme of school. It's just based yeah. on. The- yeah, like it was what I'm saying, like yeah, if it happens, I would love to play alongside my, you know, my day one. So it's no, I, I love, love to play alongside my day one anytime. I got you, of course. Um, Dang, I was gonna ask. Okay, if the I'm not gonna ask what your favorite school as a childhood was, but I am gonna ask if that school were to offer, I guess tomorrow, right now, are you committing on the spot or are you waiting until junior? Yeah, you know, I mean, a uh, commitment day or whatever it is that they do now, early decision day, whatever it's called. Um, no, I'll wait. Yeah, I still wait. Yeah, okay. smart, not smart. At the iPad. Oh. Uh-oh. We lost him. <laughs> I'll let him join back. But yeah, I mean, I see a lot of people when they're like, when they're uh, when their favorite school offers, they're like automatically. That's it. They shut down everything. I think you guys are doing the smart the, the smart way, where um, you know, you're gonna make a big decision here. So not just because it's your favorite school, you're gonna automatically just commit. So I think you guys are handling that perfect. Great. Do you have yeah. any questions? Yeah, may I ask you guys a question? I want to kind of get involved. Um, once again, I apologize for being late, guys. I had to work late. But um, so question for you for you guys. Um, what are the top three things you look for whenever you're going to visit or whenever you're talking to a coach or whatnot? Is it like relationships? Is it, you know, the campus, the academics? What do you guys top three things each? Um, I like going to like a real practice, like a spring practice, so I can actually see how they coach. Well, because if you go to a visit, everybody gonna be nice. All the coaches gonna be nice. I actually want to see like how a coach go coach, and then how they act as they real players on the football field practice and stuff. And I like seeing which coach will develop me more to get me to the level I want to be. And then at the academic side of it, like the schools and stuff, like uh, how much um, classroom points, like. How- how much tutoring I have. Yeah, I look at that stuff. Very smart. Basically, the same thing with Quiz. Okay. Gotcha. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, follow up question to that. So, I know people always say um, commit to the school and not the coach, right? Stuff mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Is that in the back of the guys' mind's head whenever you're recruit, going through this recruiting process? Or do you guys take it through a different approach? Yeah, I look at it the same way because um sometimes get fired sometimes they leave if you commit to a coach you don't know what's going on so that's why I just um just think of it coach and just, yeah yeah like coaches they they bounce around so quick so they be another they be another school so quick you wouldn't even know it that they twitter account and they say oh, they had a different school <laughs> <laughs> That's true, man. That's true. You're not wrong. Um, yeah. And um, I, let me let's go back to high school here. What are the expectations for Newberry this year? I mean, you guys are loaded on the defensive side, offensively. I don't. I'm not really sure what you guys. You know, you're saying that you guys pass the ball more now. Um, yeah. Do you feel like the team is balanced enough to make a push for a state championship? Yeah, I feel yeah. like. I think I, I think our regular season, um, season. Yeah, we probably got, we got off the line second, so we beat them. We definitely in there. Yeah, and I definitely think we could be off the line. I think we have off the line. What week is off the Um, week two of our regular season. Game. It's in Newberry or off the line. Newberry, in Newberry. Oh yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, I'll be there. Uh, and so that that was actually the next question I was going to ask you. What games this season do you have circled? What which games do you want to play the most that mean the most to you? Um, we Hawthorne. That's the one. I think we have Chiefland. Um, and, and we have Westport. The only reason I say Westport because a seven day school and be a seven day school give like one A map because yeah. they say we can't really compete with them. Yeah. We, you know, we, I think we played, and, and they call it like Calvary Christian, quiz. Yeah. So we played them. I heard, I heard they're pretty cool. I mean, I, I've seen they had a three star on there, you know. I look forward to playing, like, come, I, I look, I look forward to playing competition. I love playing competition. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. 
I don't blame you. I know you guys play um, Williston because one of my coworkers' son plays for Williston. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm they still need to send me their. their uh, well, I guess you guys. What what's the schedule like? Who do you play first? Santa Fe, I imagine that's the main rivalry. Yeah, yeah. first. Yeah, you play Santa Fe, and then week two you play Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's that's. Yeah, that's tough. Two games right there. Santa, uh, Santa Fe ain't what they used to be. Yeah, they they horrible now. Yeah, they're they're awful. Really? That's yeah, like, it, like that? it ain't much of a rivalry anymore when there's no competition. No. There you go. All right. Um. So so you said Haw- I mean you said Hawthorne and then you said Westport and you said um. What was the third school you said? I think Christian. Okay. Y'all play PK this year? Yeah. Yeah, we play PK. Oh man. We yeah. all graduated. We all graduated from PK. So I was say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's all good. When I play for Newberry, we always kicked uh, P- uh PK's butt. So when I transferred over there, I knew what I was getting into. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah my, my ninth grade year, boy. Newberry gave me a wake up call fast. I mean, I'll never forget it, bro. I was <laughs> I was on kickoff return, and then like uh, L one came through full speed, ran straight through my shit. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never well, forget that. Shit. Yeah. yeah, and like, and for me, like it's cool to see because I mean, I went to New- when I was in Newberry. Um, I played along with um, I don't know if you know him, but Monte Seabrook. He went over to Utah and played a, a couple of years over there. I think I heard. Um, huh? I think I heard him before. I think Coach brought him up or something before. Yeah, yeah. So like Monte, he went to Utah. I played with another guy. He went to Mercer, although that's a you know smaller school, still D one. Yeah. Um, but then after that, I played along Jalen Parks and K- and Corey Durden. And so obviously, you know what they did in FSU. Unfortunately, Jalen Park had to medically retire. But yeah, Corey now's with the Lions. Yeah. And so it's cool to see how. I mean, Newberry just keeps producing people, right? Like left and right. Now you got they got you two. They got uh, David, might go to, to an Ivy school. You got uh, Logan, who's also getting looked at. And so it's great to see. How do, how do you guys feel about that? Like c- carrying on the legacy of just putting people back uh, into universities and also maybe to the NFL? Yeah, that feels good. Because at first, everybody told me not to be You stupid. Why would you go in the You got mules right here. You got all right. Oops. Yeah. No, we'll get looked at. No coaches go look at you. It's one day and yep. the offers and stuff. Who is wrong? Yeah, they always told us the same thing too. Though oh, you know, people in double uh, in one A, it's harder to get looked at. Which in that way is true, but at the same time, if you're ta- if you're talented and you put yourself out there, you're com- communicating with coaches, you're going to camps, you're gonna get looked at one way or another. Especially when we found. Yeah, you, you, yeah, talent will be found, man. And if you're playing like a Westport who's a seven A, they're they they're guaranteed to have some guy going D one on that on that team, right? Yeah. And but if you beat the brakes out of them or you just you know, you hold your own, you're gonna get looked at. Coaches mm-hmm. are always looking at just not one player, they're looking at the whole field. So yeah, man. I mean I'm excited for Newberry this year because I've been seeing you guys I mean obviously freshman year you it, you're a freshman, right? Like, uh-huh. it, it, you, it's, it's a wake up call. Yeah. Sophomore year, you start to get introduced into there. Um, my last question for you guys is: What are a couple things that you guys are working on to get better at in your in your craft? Like, what are some things? Is it, is it speed? Is it your how you move your hands? Uh, for me, it's really and then bending more because. I get off the ball real fast. It's like when I get to the backfield, that's the problem a little to like actually keep my body and my balance to get the word back and stuff. That's why I probably need most. Yeah. <clears throat> Follow me, I say like I need to get like a little faster, you know, uh, with my, my hands a little more because like I, I feel like I need to get fast, but I need to get around that edge a little more because you no know, edge rushers really have to get to the ball, you know, get around or get around the tackle shoulder and get to the quarterback. So I have to really work on my speed. <clears throat> Damn, I forgot to ask that. So, what what are your um, positions? Um, I play the tackle. Okay, I play uh, DN and edge. And what does Logan play? Um, linebacker, DN edge. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Man, yeah. I got loaded on the D line, huh? I was about to say that's got to get nasty in the three yeah. technique. That's got to be fun when you like all of you guys are freaking tackling the same person. Yeah, <laughs> with your homeboy, huh? Yeah, it was pretty scary. It was pretty scary last year. You know, our chemistry on the line is crazy. Like, it's it's crazy. Like, it's, and I see, uh, I see that you got. Well, let's see. This is Quez. You had ten sacks as a D tackle. That's crazy. And then <laughs> Micah had them 18 – well, it's at 18 – no, 14 sacks. That's – yeah. hey, man. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's solid. That's yeah. solid. For two sophomores, that's 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 pretty – That's Yeah, that's crazy for two sophomores. Hey, yeah. Hey, different, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm from 20. I'm from me. Okay. I got one more question, too, um, for both of you guys, obviously. So – as you guys probably seen growing up, um, I kind of grouped that Gainesville, Newberry, Trenton, all that kind of stuff together as far as NFL talent and whatnot. So seeing Anthony Richardson and seeing Corey Durham, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm them, guys, make it to the NFL, does that motivate you guys seeing like, hey, I can make it there one day too? And also, do you guys feel this type of like, not pressure, but like this motivation to make it for the kids that are younger than you, like that are middle school, elementary school? Like, do you guys feel that kind of motivation? And yeah. the, and the, Anthony Richardson make it you know, motivate you guys as well. Um, yeah. um, I'm definitely motivated for that because when I seen them make it and then what they did to the community, um, came back, help the young kids work out with them, take pictures with them. That made me feel real good because I want to do the same thing. Yeah. Like, go to the NFL or whatever I do. Just back, help kids, train them, and just right so they can be better than what we was. You know, yeah, and I'm most definitely on there too because you know. It started to put Gainesville on the map because we were really underrated. Like Gainesville and Newberry, that the whole area is very underrated. You know, we get overlooked a lot. Too. Them going to the NFL, you know, could give us a lot of like, you know, alleyway for more coaches to come see. Oh, it's a lot of talent down there, and we won't get overlooked like that. So that's mainly why I'm actually like very grateful for them too to be right now from Gainesville. For sure. Yeah, I like that. I like that. You know, the more the more we talk, the more the questions pop up. I'm not gonna keep it too long. We're almost at 30 minutes, but I was gonna ask that you said you said that um the Gainesville area, Newberry area is very um, underrated, not very talked about. And so I was gonna ask you guys, um, do you guys feel like there's a lot? I feel like there's a lot of talent in the 352 area. That's including Ocala. I think I believe all the way to to Lake City. Do you believe that this area is not recruited enough? Because I feel like there's a lot of talent that goes unnoticed. Yeah. Um, like nowadays, we really, you got people like me, Micah, Jerry, Kendall, Gavin. So I think they finally see who he is and how we play and how we get down. It's, it's starting to get better. Like, over the years, like, when we start coming up, it start like, just, just more people from games will get more looked at. So it's like, it, it's, it's a good process, man. It took a little, it'll take a little minute before... You know, so but not now, but now we getting a little better. Good, it's good to see, man. It's good to see like the the progress from when I was in school. It was it was virtually like impossible to go D one from a uh, from a one A school, right? It was usually like Buells and stuff like that. And even then, they didn't really get any anybody to go to college because nobody really recruited Gainesville like that. Even though you have a part, you know, you have a major university here in the UF. Um, so it's good to see, like, over the past eight years now that I, that I graduated, how it has progressed and how it's gotten better. So it's good to see. And I'm happy about that because there's a lot of talent that goes unnoticed, man. I, I, I played along some people that they're talent you, they had talent that you couldn't teach. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's, an, it's just crazy. Really how it is. For sure. Do you have any other questions, Justin or, or Greg? Um, no questions. I just want to wish you guys best of luck, man. Um, keep the right people around you guys. I want to see you guys succeed. I want to be able to come back to this interview three or four years from now and say, hey, we had these boys on when they were just sophomores and juniors, and now look at them now. You know what I mean? So keep it up. I'm proud of y'all, man, and stay focused for sure. Sure. Thank you. Sure. Of course, yeah. man. Of course. I just uh, appreciate both of y'all coming on and wish y'all good luck on the next next season coming up and uh, whatever y'all decide to do. I, I wish y'all the best for sure. We'll come watch y'all play, me and Ed. Definitely. Yeah, man. I uh, just want to say a big thank you for this is the first time we have 
that we're doing this, right? Like we're interviewing uh, high schoolers, getting recruited and everything like that. So we want to say thank you so much. Um, you guys are very humble for the talent that you guys have and the amount right. of talent that you that you possess. So you guys oh, very humble. Oh, keep that going um, and keep being smart with the decisions you make. Man. What's up, Greg? I was going to say facts because if I was at y'all's age with the talent that y'all have, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, boy? I would be, I'll be in trouble, boy. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but no, man. Happy no, yeah. Proud of you. Yeah. yeah. Proud of you guys, man. Keep it going, and definitely send me the the schedule for Newberry. I'll try oh. to go to some. I mean, I live literally two, three minutes away, so I I can make some games for sure. Yeah, we we got like five home games, so you know. Oh yeah, well I'll I'll probably be there for for sure. I'll be there for the Williston game because I have a coworker that invited me, but the Hawthorne game is looking. Looking uh like a, it needs to be a, a must attend. It's going. Yeah, I'll be there. It's going to be pretty decent. Right? If you are going, you might want to get tickets a little early because yeah, it's it's going to be. It's going to be full. Yeah. Y'all, oh, y'all don't play Trenton, right? No, nah, we don't play them no more. They yeah they last year we did them pretty bad. Sixty we played them. It was like sixty five to six. Yeah, it was they're trash. Bad. Yeah, they're trash now. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Man. It's so Chief crazy. Wins, Chief wins like the good leaving team insane. now. Yeah. When I when we played Trent, that's the year that uh, they won state. Um, yeah, and we had like twenty thousand people at the game or something like that. fifteen thousand. It was something crazy, full everywhere. People in the they trucks. The whole town out. The whole town, the whole Trent came over here. All of New York was at the game. Unfortunately, we lost that game. But yeah, man, I, Hawthorne. I know they're gonna come deep, so I'm definitely gonna be there for that game. But anyways, good luck to you guys. Keep practicing hard, and I uh, wish you all the best for this season. Okay. Hey.